<laughs> so Ella got your team into the mayor's citywide tournament. Uh, yeah. What was your summer league record? 0 oh, and 10. <laughs> <laughs> well, where's your coach? <laughs> we kind of in between coaches. RC's brother coached us a few games. Then there was this dude, Pumpkin. <laughs> but he had his own problems. <laughs> we talking to Pat Riley now. <laughs> Let me ask you something. What does CMB stand for? I mean, that's what you call yourselves, right? Oh, that's not the team's name. That's just us. The team's the Martin Luther King's named after the wreck. Yeah, but what does CMB stand for? Crenshaw Mafia Brothers. <laughs> Throw it up, throw it up. <laughs> CMB, baby. Yeah, well, Crenshaw is a boulevard in Los Angeles. How'd you come by that name? You saw Boys in the Hood? Got it from there. That's the gang in Boys in the Hood. Do you consider yourself a gangster? <laughs> what? what, that's a dumb question? Uh, DeAndre, I want to ask you about something you wrote. Right there, that's it, man. Yo, did um, Boo say he was coming? Huh? Look, come on, come on, hold up, DeAndre. I want to ask you about something you wrote. It goes silent screams and broken dreams. Addicts, junkies, and pushers and fiends. Crowded spaces and sad faces. Never look back as the police chase us. Consumed slowly by chaos, a victim of the streets. Hungry for knowledge, but afraid to eat. A life of destruction, it seems no one cares. A man child alone with burdens to bear. Wow. You wrote this at Boys Village? I was locked up, yeah. Why well, I gave that to you? This is good, DeAndre. Is it a rap? Just something I wrote. Yo, boo, what up? What up, man? <laughs> Yo, boo. <laughs> Yo, D, you trying to play? So your mother's uh, doing good since she got out of rehab, isn't she? Yeah. You playing what? Yeah, man. Put me in. Put me in. DeAndre, can I ask you about Tyreka? What about her? You preparing yourself for fatherhood? Man, come on, man. Come on, come on. Get me in here. Get me in here. He's going to win the last shot, too. You know what I'm saying? Give me this. Come on, man. What's this? What's this? All right, you shoot. Go in. All right, give me this. Give me this. Let me start off. Come on. Paul Brown, coming up Mount. Come on, let's roll. Close it down. Shut it down. All right, ma'am. Y'all ready? Here it is. <laughs> huh? Huh? Man, I'm going upstairs. <laughs> hey, I'm out there. All this up, watch. Hey, the whole house? The room down the hall is yours. This room here is mine. Oh, the hell it is, Andre. You said I could have my own room. Not the biggest one. Come on, you take this room over here. Oh, man. All right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, boy. <laughs> Ma, this house is right. Yeah? Well, money gonna be tight, because most of my check gotta go to the rent. I gotta see about getting me a job. Yeah. That'd be real good. <laughs> How you like your room, Gerard? I got the whole room to myself. All to yourself. I like it. Mm. <laughs> I want to get you, man. It's from Brad Funeral. Brad Funeral? Yeah, man. One too many old heads represented that day. Yeah, I, I meant to go. Nice service, though, man. I thought you might want that. Look at him in his army uniform. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, man. I got to go here. Take care of yourself, man. All right. All right, homie. 
Man, you know my hours been cut back, you know? Now, I can see things are snowing all around here, but I just think you can give me some more hours. Gary, by now there ain't no crab season left. I know. I'll have you back next summer for sure. Next summer? Come on. I keep you on this Sunday and next, but that's it. Sorry, Gary, but that's the way this business goes. No, but you can... Need some help? Uh, I'm looking for the manager. Well, I'm the assistant manager. What do you need? You hiring? We're not hiring right now, but if you like, we can fill out an application. If y'all ain't hiring, why should I do that? Well, when it gets closer to Christmas time, we'll be hiring then. Yeah, all right. King Rex in it? Yeah. Where's your coach? I'm coaching. Yeah, he like a player coach. No, no. You guys got to have a real coach if you're gonna play in this tournament. I'm seller looking for another coach. Well, you're gonna have to forfeit this game till you get one. Oh, come on. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right. Come on. Come on. Look, these boys, man, I done had problems out there before. You know? We can beat them fools, yeah, but look, I'm telling you, I done seen them before. I know, I know. I'm talking about Okay, okay, okay. that's your call. Okay, that's your call. All right, fellas. We're gonna let you play today. <laughs> but you're gonna need an adult coach by the next game. Cool. Or else you're gonna fall cool. Pick, okay? Yeah. Cool. Right. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Hope y'all fools came to play. One, two, three. All right, we ain't win one game yet. Miss Ellen was kind enough to make us these t shirts. We're gonna go out here and win one for us. All right? Yeah. All right, start line up. Turk, Boo, RC. DeAndre and Dinky. All right, we're going to sit on the bench. Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's hit it and hype it up. Hype it up. CMB. CMB. One, two, three. CMB. CMB. Oh, CMB. Oh, CMB. Oh, Cent pay at the scores table. What? Profanity is a 25 cent fine. Nah, fuck that. Make it 50 cent. Hey, man, Suck shut my up, dick. Man. 75. Up, man. Yo, yo, Dre, Dre. Come on, man. Come on, Dre. Come on, man. Just play yo, the game. Suck man. my motherfucking dick. Hey, 23. Yeah, make it even buck. Game, now throw in the MF for free. I ain't paying. Then you ain't playing. Hell with this shit. Just pay the fucking fine, man. Dicky, let's go. Come on, man, this ain't shit. Forget it, stay. Let's play ball. Go get in there, Brooks. If you apologize and pay the fine, that man was only enforcing the rules. That's his job. Miss Ella, I don't want to say anything to disrespect you, but I ain't apologizing for who I am to anybody. You were wrong to curse that man. You know that, DeAndre. All right, if I pay the fine, will you apologize and stay with the team? We ain't much of a team anyway. Oh, DeAndre, 
You cannot go your whole life being afraid to extend yourself. I ain't afraid. It's just as soon as they saw us coming with our homemade jerseys and all, they figured we was just a bunch of broke-ass West Side niggas. That's all we was to them. I grew up in this neighborhood the same as you. And let me tell you what I learned when I saw a little bit more of the world. Not everybody is out there to judge you badly, all right? And for those who are, that gives you no reason to beat them to the punch. DeAndre, look at me. I know you have a better heart than what you show people. I know it. Blue? Hey, girl. Hey, yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you. Turn around. Let me see. Oh, yeah. You look good. So what's going on? You going to meetings now? Oh, man. Let me tell you what happened, right? You're going to laugh. I'm walking up Monroe Street. This cop walks up to me and says, what's your name? Right? So I look at him like, oh, George Epps. You told him? I thought I could. I really hadn't done anything lately. So he runs a check, and as it turned out, I had violated my probation. Oh. I had an outstanding warrant. Oh, I forgot. man, boo. <laughs> no, even the cop had to say, why you tell me your real name? <laughs> you know, so off the jail I went. I detoxed in there. When I came out, I, I just couldn't go back and stay at that house. Mm -hmm. You know, so I gathered up my paints and things and went over to South Baltimore Station. You know that shelter they got there? Yeah, yeah, well, who's at your house? Uh, Rita, that Kurt, all them. Yeah. How long you been clean? Three months, including detox. Mm, that's good for you, girl. That's good for you. Everybody, we're ready to start the meeting. So can you take your seat, please? Can you find seats. Can I have the reading of who's an addict? Five stitches. <laughs> can you still play? Yeah, man, I could play. She ain't cut the muscle now. She just cut a little bit of the skin and the meat that's right there. It's all right. Man, Peaches, yo. She just too fucking jealous, man. Come after me with a damn blade and shit, because she think I'm messing with Dina. <laughs> Which I am, but still, you know what I'm saying? Look, I bet if somebody's shooting at you and you move your hand just right, you could block the bullet, man. With your hand, with the side of your hand. You could block that shit. <laughs> I'm saying, the bullet will bounce off the side of your bone. Look, like this here. Bullet's coming. <laughs> Just hit it right there. <laughs> How the fuck you gonna move faster than a bullet, man? Man, if you move fast enough, man, you can block that shit. <laughs> you high shit. <laughs> Whatever. What's up, y'all? Where you coming from, boo? Home. Home? Nigga, what you doing at home? Hitting that pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all niggas, boo be on that rock, man. Quit playing, man. Don't lie, boo. You be sucking that glass dick, don't you? I ain't messing with that shit. Well, where you be at half the time? Missing practice and shit. Fuck y'all. Just be at home. Yo. Let me holler at you for a minute, man. What up, cuz? <laughs> Brooks and these other young boys, man, they too young. They keep messing up. They got 10,000 different excuses why the money ain't right. If we want this shit done correct, Dre, you need to be on the corner with me. Well, I can't do that, thank you. <laughs> I got a child coming, man. I understand all that, man, but we can't be losing no money either. Matter of fact, after we finish with this package here, that's it for a while. No more dealing. All right. I can't be locked up with my baby born, man. Boy, you know what time it is? I said, do you know what time it is? Damn, Ma, don't you ever sleep? It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Come here. Come up here. Smelling like we... I will not be having this, Andre. Not in this house. Yeah, well, what you want me to do? And your breath smell like alcohol. From now on, there's gonna be a curfew. Your ass in this house by midnight every night. You understand me? Yeah, I... You think I'm joking? And if I smell that shit on you again, I'm calling your probation agent and you getting piss tested. 
they find all that weed in your system, you'll be back on home monitoring just like you was with Aunt Jackie. You gonna snitch me out? If you're not in this house by midnight, Andre, yes, I will. See, y'all rehabbing these houses. 40 units, right. Who the developer? It's a non-profit thing, grant money. What they selling for? 50 and up. I used to do this, you know, rehabbing houses. I mean, if you hire me. I got not... everybody I need right now. For real, I had a company. No kidding. You know, I got everybody I need. Excuse me. You worked for the telephone company? For five years. Mm -hmm. And then for a temp agency after that. But there's no work history for the last eight years. <clears throat> That's right. Um, my marriage ended about that time, and I had to go on public assistance to support my son. And then I had my second child. But what I'm determined to do now is get back to work, because I miss that feeling of earning a paycheck. I admire you for that. Thank you. Let's see. Um, it's a cashier's position. Pays six dollars an hour. You, <clears throat> I need to talk to you. Excuse me a second. <sighs> you need me a cigarette. <sighs> Denise Francine Boyd. Yes. Recognize me? No. You were barred from this store a couple of years back for shoplifting. I told you never to show your face here again. Remember now? Rika! Tyrika, let me holler at you. How long you want? I don't care. Man, come on, girl. Stop walking. I've been calling your house. You carrying my son. We should be talking. Who says son? How you know it's not gonna be a girl? I just know. Whatever. Look, if you still think I'm messing with them other girls, you're wrong. Rico, let's go. You no, know, Ma got us a new house, right? Over on Harlem Avenue. So? I'm looking for a job, too. Got another cigarette? Mm -hmm. You let me let that. Thanks. It's a good meeting. Yeah. Usually I go to the ones over at um, James McHenry. I'm Marvin. How you doing, Marvin? I'm better now. What's your name? Fran. Yo, Black, guess what, yo? Dina say she pregnant, yo. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, nigga, you was the first, but you ain't the only, son. <laughs> you gotta get your shit together, you gonna be a father. Of course, nigga, definitely. Come on. Yo, do peaches know? I ain't told I know that shit. Hey, <laughs> oh, man, yo, that's him. Who? Nigga robbed me and my brother. Who, this nigga? Motherfucker. Oh, oh, fuck oh, yeah. oh, shit. Watch out. Yo, yo. Fuck. Oh, no, you fucking with me? I see a beat, bitch. Fuck, fuck, fuck. 
Fucking clothes, too. Yeah, he look like the one anyway. Say what? Look like? I'm saying that might be the same boy. Man, boo, you an asshole, man. Man, what time you got? It's 11.30. What's up? Man, I gotta go. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Man, you so fucking fuck stupid, man. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, that's the dog pound over there. And tonight, we have 37 people who were all ironically fired from KFC for doing chicken wrong. I can't believe it. How can you do chicken wrong? See where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show. I'm your host. My name is Arsenio. For those of you who've been frozen... Hey. Uh... <laughs> Ma, you should talk to Rika. She's still acting like she don't want nothing to do with me. Yeah, I need to talk with her. She should feel like she part of this family. Tell her stop by this weekend. You tell her, we ain't talking. Y'all ain't talking. She got your child, don't she? Mm. What up, Brian? You get all them bullets out? Oh, set one is in my leg. Uh huh. You got a souvenir there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yo, 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 I got that mic. Uh, uh, uh. Damn, I must be losing my motherfucking mind. Motherfucker, where's my stash? What's up, Kurt? Uh, I can't find my stash. It ain't where you left it? I can't remember where that is. Maybe somebody snatched it. Yeah, but from where? All right. People work, they said they didn't have any, man. How you get out? Just walking down the street. Man calls out, you, you want a job? Just like that. Yeah, right place at the right time. I couldn't figure out how to say no. What they got you doing? I'm carrying shit. Maybe you know you could put in a word for me. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. But you know, give me a little time though. Make sure I don't fuck it up for myself. Hey. What you doing down this way? Don't act surprised. What you mean? I ain't here to see you no way. Oh, so you came all this way just to see my mother? Yep. Jeez. Hey! Go on, girl. Give me a hug. <laughs> you taking care of yourself and my grandchild? Yeah. It's moving around a lot. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You been to see a doctor yet? Uh uh, not yet. And we need to do that. Make sure everything's going okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with y'all. Miss Fran, what kind of things I'm need for when the baby gets born? I know, like a bassinet, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, and lots of clothes. I'm gonna help out with all that. How you intend to help Dre? With money. I'm gonna do good by my son. Your son? He swears it's gonna be a boy. Lord have mercy. Ain't got no use for no little girl. Whatever, Dre. Hey, listen. 
I'm gonna run down to the store and get a couple of sodas, okay? Why don't you and Rika have a little talk while I'm gone? Why are you acting like this? You know I'm done with Chanel. Me and her been broke up. But that's not what Peaches be saying. Peaches don't know. I ain't been with Chanel since... Damn, I don't even know when. Hmm. For real. Listen, Rika. Things are different. I'm ready to do right. You were sleeping, you know? Uh, no, man, I can't sleep. I feel like shit. You come here for me? I heard you fell out. You're a good man, Gary. Anything I can get you? Spider bag and a red top. <laughs> Doctor Sam. They talk about dragging my ass off to some nursing home. Some place where people go to die and shit. You gonna die? A couple of months. Might could be more if I stop shooting dope. You've been out there at Monroe and Fed since forever, man. Ever since I was a little kid, you know, working at Limitless, I mean, you, you used to pull up man in that Cadillac man with the extra car. <laughs> yes, Lord. This is Kurt, what's the Bob? Kurt, I'm finished. Yeah, did you do the rims, boy? Young and don't miss a trick. You the working this little man. Come on now. You giving me 20? Yeah, but look at me. Who gonna love me, huh? <laughs> you know, every mother son gotta have some love. But who gonna love me? Man, I can't even say I had it back, cause fuck it. I had me a good life. I mean, I love you dope. This right here. This right here is how it ends, Gary. Gary, listen to me. Gary, go back to doing them things you was doing with the money and jobs and all. You get your ass off them corners. You hear me? Hey, Gary. Hey, how you feeling? Oh, my doctor here. Go watch the hallway while I twist. Damn, Curtis. <laughs> Got one of them plastic straws all ready and waiting. Mm -hmm. Direct deposit. Take nine. This shit is the bomb. Mm. Shit. All right. Ain't no good dope out here no more. It's all just chemical. Kurt, you talk the same, the same shit every day, don't you? 
You know, um, the, the doctor say if Kurt quit drugging, you know, he might have more time. Time for what? How many people knew you had the TV? Everybody in the neighborhood, because we show children's videos every Friday afternoon for the little kids mm -hmm. and movies for the older ones every Friday night. Well, it was probably somebody who knew what they were after. Well, not any of my kids. No, I don't think that was the case. You work here? I volunteer teaching art. All the kids in the neighborhood have a lot of respect for Miss Ella, so they know better than to steal from her. It wasn't one of my kids, I know that much. Well, I'll file a report. Do you have insurance? Well, I'm not sure. I'll have to check with the community association because it was a used TV that was donated. What happened? Well, somebody took the TV and the VCR. Man. Yep, it broke in through the window here, it looks like. I'm sorry to hear that, Miss Ellen. You fellas heard anything about it? Ah. Oh. Well, I'm gonna look around back. Yeah, I'll join you. This is fucked up, you know? You got them Jimbo 60s, baby. They ready as rain. Fight a bag, No, dude. no, I'm not doing that no more. Stopping by see your Stevie and them doing. Hey, you ready for some news? What? You are gonna have a grandson. <laughs> what? <laughs> you gonna be a granddaddy. Your son having a son all his own. <laughs> with that girl he been with? Mm-hmm, Tarika. Now you want another shot? I just got me a job. Yep. <laughs> At this factory way out in the county, Hunt Valley. Gary. They put together these little makeup kits. It's damn near two hours by bus, but I got it. I did it. I got the job. That's real good. <laughs> Think you can let me hold 10? Is that daddy? Okay, why don't you let me call over BRC, get you put on one of the lists for a bed, huh? I'm real tight with the girl that does intake over there. Friend, I'm just asking you for $10. I ain't never turned you down when I had it in my pocket. Yeah, but I don't have it to spare. I mean, this new house we at now, I'm written from a friend, but it still costs me $2.55 a month, and I got to still cover groceries, the ride, need school clothes, and with this new baby coming, I ain't got it. Get it. Never mind. You right? So when the baby do? December, the doctor said. Thanks for letting me know. And I always use a little good news. Why you ain't at work? Work, I shoot. I... Sparrow's point. I'm now I'm between banks right now, you know. You know what? I gotta go because I left some up the alley high. Not you, baby. Not you, Gary. Andre! I'm in the kitchen! Hey! I got that job. Ma, I need some new shoes. God damn, Dre, I don't even start till Monday. <laughs> nah, seriously, that's good about the job. Yeah. I'm proud of you doing what you're doing. Thank you, baby. Now, what you gonna do? Huh? We ain't at the do drop no more, baby. 
here, you got to earn your keep. You ain't gonna stay here just eating and sleeping and running the streets to all hours. What you mean? I'm in the house by midnight? Either you going to school or you getting a job. You hear me, Andre? Excuse me? Y'all hiring? How old are you? 16. I need a job bad. be the only one out here. Why would you think that? Because it's 6 o'clock in the morning. You get used to it. wash your car and mow the lawn. Who are you, and what have you done with our son? <laughs> I forgot how much bullshit goes with having a job. Yeah, the bullshit's worse than actual work. Mm. Like when I was at the phone company, those women would laugh and laugh about shit that just wasn't even funny. But because them white women was running the place, I'd be laughing my ass <laughs> off right along with them. <laughs> Yo, Ma. Hey! Check me out. You. <laughs> hey, I want you to meet somebody. This is Marvin. He catches meetings with me over at the church. <laughs> That's my son, Andre. What's up? All right. So tell me how'd it go? How'd the first day go? What happened? They got me clearing tables and cleaning up to start. But the manager said if that goes well, I could work a grill or a register. And they're not even making you cut them things off? Andre, I swear you're turning back into my child again. Nah, I'm a working man. And I'm going to show you by helping out with the bills. But first, I got to save up for a bassinet. You know, maybe some toys, baby clothes and stuff. So you for real about this, finally? Yeah. I got to be a father to my son. this thing down here yourself? So sure did. 200 pounds, bolt metal only. Here you go, $2. You have a little bit of help, you know? Looking for somebody? Friend of mine, Tony Boyce, he's working for y'all last week. Tony got locked up. Excuse me? That's what I heard anyway. What do you get locked up for? What the fuck do I know? Listen, y'all need another day labor? Got everybody I need today. Why'd I need you to steal my car? All right, me and my man Will here, we gonna make it that no one ever see this car again. Not the police, not the insurance company. What's the blue book on it? 15 or so, 250 is deductible. OK, so that leaves you with 1,200 at least. All right, you give me and Will 50, and you can keep the rest of that money to put down on a new ride. How do I know you ain't full of shit? 
I report the car stolen. Three days later, police come telling me it's down at the impound lot. Then they charge me to tow it home. Bullshit. Hey, come on, trust me, Chief. You give it to us, she ain't coming back. See, we gonna recycle the motherfucker. Tell him it's mine. Yeah, what if they ask for proof? Well, they just make you sign a form if it's older than 86. Well, man, you got it all figured out, don't you? Yeah, it just came to me one day. You know, 50 from the owner, another 40 for the bulk metal. And there's a lot of people probably in your old cars gotten rid of, you know? It's the case for you a Gary man, you done rewrote the game. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm up here trying to do it, you know? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> don't let that trash get that full before you empty it. All right. I mean, make sure it's full, but sometimes those bags burst, and you don't want that. And I see a lot of tables that need to be wiped down. Do that first? First the tables, and then the trash bags. Short. Give me soda out the icebox. Yo, you don't have to get it. Let him get it. You got a problem? Nope. Then watch your tone of voice. Watch my tone of voice in my own house? I get you a soda. Okay. Why are you even here? Ma's at work. Yo, get used to that one. What you mean? I mean, I'm moving in. I'm gonna be staying for your mother a while. Moving in here? Bullshit, uh-uh. When she come home, ask her. And after that, won't be no more you cussing at me, so get that out your system now if you want to. You hear me? Hey. Hey. How's it going at Wendy's? All right. What day you work last? Saturday. I keep asking the manager for more hours, but she don't do it. What about that bankroll you carrying? Huh? I just saw you out there with your cousin. What? Y'all back to slinging coke? He owed me that since, like, September. Oh. So, I'm supposed to believe you ain't out there hustling much time as you spend in the streets, huh? I ain't hustling. Well, what about you? When was the last time you went to Narcotics Anonymous? Uh-uh-uh. I'm the parent. You're the child. I don't need to explain myself to you. So you stop going to the meeting. Andre, I don't need that no more. Them people up at that church, they chasing meetings the same way they used to chase dope. All they about is being ex-drug addicts. I'm past that. Yeah, all right. Get back at him. Let me have to beat both of y'all asses. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, hold on. Hey, yo, man, yo, man. Yo. What? Y'all stand on our corner. Your corner? You talking to us? Yeah, y'all stand on our corner. Y'all got to move. Don't be standing here tomorrow. I got something for y'all punk asses. All right? Fuck you. Fuck you. Yo, what up with that? I think he said to get off the corner. Says it's their corner. 
Shit, I got my nine of the stash shots. You want me to go get it? Yo, them look like DC plates. Y'all see that shit? <laughs> What's up? What you want to do, Dre? Fuck them. What you want to do? $50 a car. Uh-huh. And cars is made of metal. Yo, yo, what's up? What's up, man? Yo, check this out. I'm looking for a tout, man. Y'all trying to work? Saying I'm paying two bills on a half a G pack. Nah, I'm not with it. I'm with G Money today. All right, man. Straighten up, check it. I'll be out here if y'all need some work here. All right. All right, peace. Yo, Slip. Yeah. That motherfucker can't be from around here if he gives it hungry a package. <laughs> <laughs> See, like I was saying, man, like when that car crusher get through with it, it, it's like a brick, a big metal brick. Yeah, Gary, that's some real deep thinking. Yeah, so if you know anybody that need their car disappear, just let me know. The yeah. thing is, Gary, cars disappear whether folks need them to or not. I mean, look around. Cars all over the place. No, I ain't about that. The corners make out all right off the insurance. Uh-huh. They doing it without me. They will. Well, well, that's my caper. It's my caper. Well, Gary, you the nigga with the ideas. He the nigga with the truck. It's fucked up. I mean, I know we ain't doing right, but how somebody else gonna tell us get off the corner and they doing the same thing? That's what I'm saying. Fuck that. I ain't giving up that corner. That shit belonged to us. There was nobody even out there before us. Shit, them niggas for real. They'll be coming back tonight. What's up, Dre? I mean, you ain't saying nothing, man. You gonna be out there with us or what? My son's about to be born, man. So you saying you want them DC niggas to take our corner? I ain't saying that. Listen, if somebody gets hurt, that's another story. If something like that happen, I'm right there with y'all, all right? All right, good. Yo, man, what up? Oh, you come to fuck around, R.C. Nah, hell no, man. So why you standing over here bullshitting and you supposed to be over there? Them D.C. niggas probably ain't even coming. We'll find out, won't we, boo? Still don't be over here bullshitting like this ain't for real. Yeah, I know it's real. Well, act like it then. And hey, what's going on? God damn it, what you doing over here? I can't even see what y'all talking about. We talking about shit, man. Y'all niggas just don't get it, do you? This ain't no damn game, man. Damn! <laughs>
Tinky. Tinky. Yo, Yo, who was shooting? I don't know, man. You see nobody? Know. You see a car go by? That wasn't them. That wasn't them, man. Yo, who started shooting? We don't know. You all right? Yeah. Shh. How many of them was it? I couldn't tell you. Yo, Boo, you all right? Yeah, yeah, all right? Yeah, you see nobody? Nah. Chill, 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 chill. What the fuck was come that, on, man? Come on. Come on. I'm running bullets flying right over my head. Damn, how many? Must have been at least five or six of them motherfuckers. They ran away like some bitches, too, cuz. <laughs> you see niggas ain't shit. The niggas are shooting right at me, too. It's all cool, Tay, because I think I bust one of them in the leg anyway. Hey, yo, baby, me too, me too. Man, I hit one of them niggas in the arm, I heard him go, oh, oh what? shit, I'm serious, <laughs> yo. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, Black, you missed. I love you, man. They picked the wrong corner to fuck with. Man. That's loud, bro. <laughs> Gandrick, must say come and find you. Come on, you gotta go. What's up? Rick and having a baby. Come on, you gotta go. <coughs> what you waiting for, boy? Go ahead. Come on. Go handle your biz. I have to start pushing again. Come on, you're doing good, baby. Real good. You just gotta push more harder. You hear me? Now listen to me. You wanna get this baby? You have to listen you're doing to me, okay? You just need to push more harder. Just a little harder, all right? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Keep going. Keep going. Where in the hell have you been? I couldn't get a hack. How's she doing in there? Get in there and see. I think I'll stay out here. Andre, what the hell is wrong with you? You blunted. You've been smoking weed, ain't you? Well, if this don't mess with your high, nothing will. All right, baby. Come on, girl. stop. Push. Push. Push hard, Erika. Push. you push, the sooner it'll be over. Come on, man. And push. Come on, push with all your might. Andre, you gotta get her to push. Boy, you gotta talk to her. Come on, again, Rika. Again. Bear down for 10 seconds. Once more, come on! Keep it up. One last push. One last push. It's a boy. Listen to him. A beautiful Thanksgiving baby. are nine and nine and his weight seven pounds eight ounces that's a nice size baby for a tiny thing like you you should be proud of yourself Tarika. you did a great job and you have one fine looking son to show for it what are you gonna name your son Deontay look this man <laughs> aren't you gonna streak in Can I ask you some questions about you and your baby? Okay. Now, the first question is the big one. Do you feel ready? Ready like how? Like what? To be a mother? Yeah, right. Well, ready or not, it's happening. I mean, it ain't like I planned it or something. Uh, you don't use condoms when you and DeAndre sleep together? Dang. <laughs> Y'all be asking everything. Well, you don't have to answer it if it's too personal. Nah, I'll answer you. Um, no, he don't like using them things. He say he don't like how it feel. You know? But I want to answer the question you asked me before. Yes, I do feel like I'm ready to be a mother because I'm gonna give my baby lots of love and my baby's gonna love me back. Miss Freeman? Yeah? Um, excuse me. Everything looks fine. Your due date is still the 20th, all right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So what you were saying? Do you think DeAndre's ready to be a father? 
I know that he ain't the type to turn his back on his child or the mother of his child. Because I know him very well, and I do feel like I can say that. Does that mean, well, do you see a future for you and DeAndre together as your child is growing up? You know what? Miss Fran, that's DeAndre's mother, she's real honest with me when she talks to me, and she already told me, like, don't think that just because you having this baby that he gonna stay with you. But I know he loves me. You know, I feel it in my heart. And I just feel like he gonna stick by me. He gonna be there for me. And I love him, so. Okay, thank you very much. To ease my pain. Well, I went downtown just to ease my pain. Well, I ended up walking in the rain. Satisfied till they lock me up again. Here come the police now. 